What's going on, everybody? Bullet at the shop. Got uh, some packages in for the Monte Carlo. Let's see what we got here. Take one to protect that stuff. We got a little radiator hose, alternator belt, alternator, and a long water pump. Yep, know what that means. And I called earlier and all the pulleys should be here this afternoon coming on a separate truck. And this is, let me get a razor blade over here. Stage pure white. Yep. That's all good. Cool. Looks like the Monte Carlo is fixing to come together. Y'all stay tuned. Hey guys, I got this stuff laid out a little better where you can see it. Also, uh, had to dig through my stash and found some Chevy Orange. And uh, I cleaned this up real good. Prepped it up where the uh, painter stick, the alternator. Of course, I got aluminum pulleys and stuff coming for it. But uh, I probably won't do it right now. But in a future video uh, on this thing, I'll strip all them stickers and sand this thing down. I'll buff it and polish it. I'll show you how to make this uh, cast look like uh, pretty much like chrome. But uh, it'll turn out nice. I'll show you how to do it. It's real neat, real easy. Basically all you do is just use some uh, sandpaper and a little bottle of water and uh, Raylock this and uh, go from there. All right, let's get some paint on this pump. It's a heavy sucker too, I should've went with aluminum. Yeah. All right. Let me check this paint a little bit and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys. Hope the sun's not too bright. But, uh, hopefully you can see it. Gonna put me a little rough coat of orange on there and let it dry for a while. And then, uh, put him over. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know when I did to hit the button or something, but it stopped. I still haven't got my camera pod. I apologize for that, y'all. All the shaking and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Depending on how all big turns out. When we get him all tuned in and everything and run him a couple times. Uh, if we get through the Monte Carlo in time, we, uh, they even run him at the No Name National. I ain't sure. I just don't know yet. I don't know. I'm not sure uh, we even filled out the registration form right. I had a a little friend of mine helped me and I'm supposed to go to a couple car shows in uh, the next month or so and I'm thinking he thought that's what this was the No Name Nationals but I guess it's all good but uh yeah we'll let this dry up and hit him with another coat and let him dry and put him on 
get this thing together. All right. See you in a few. All right, guys. We got this uh, thing sprayed up real good. Just sitting there dry. Get the sun a little bit, let it dry for a while. After it dries up good, I'll clean the block surface up and uh, start putting them together. While I uh, was waiting on the paint to dry, my pulley showed up. I think that's what it is. But uh, this one, um, uh, CVF Racing. Chevy Ford Pontiac and do it. Oh, and a Ford. Yeah. Alright. Right. Right. Okay. Water pump fully. Long water pump. Chevy Big Block. Yeah. Big block, crank push. Yeah. Cool. Like I said, I broke my stand, or I would put this on the stand and open these up. Let me uh, open these up and I'll bring you right back. Hold on one second. Alright, guys, let me see if I can get them out of here now. Boats. Want the screws to pull. They hold this on to the pulley. Alright. Yeah. Check it out. New crank bolts. Oh, pulley bolts. Not crank bolts. Excuse me. Crank pulley bolts. And. Bounce a pulley. <laughs> nice. And the water pump. Yep. And it's all single groove just for our alternator. No, no power steering and air conditioner and all that stuff. And yeah. All right, guys. As soon as ever all this stuff dries up and everything, uh, I'll bring you back. We'll start putting this sucker together. What's going on, guys? About to work on the alternator here for a second. Still ain't got my uh, tripod for my camera. But uh, I'm going to change this pulley out so that that big block, when it hits them high RPMs, it don't be slinging the belts and stuff. But uh, I'm going to set you down for a second. Basically, I'm just going to uh, hit it with the impact. Turn my pressure down a little bit. You don't want to over torque this thing or nothing when you put it back on. But uh, hold on one second. All right, guys. I got that pulley on. And if you look at it, they, uh, they polished the back side, but not the front. Ain't that something? <laughs> Oh well, it is what it is. I might touch it up with some black paint or something, make it look good on the outside too. But yeah, it only goes one way. Uh, 
But yeah, I just got all this stuff up there, just mopped up, just checking the right, make sure I, I got the right belt I wanted, and the brackets and everything. Um, my dad had a short water pump on it, and uh, the single pulleys and stuff for the, uh, like an old Corvette, because he thought it would save him some weight, but I'd rather put back the right stuff that it had on it, and uh, that way it'll be, Easier to work on, nicer, cleaner, and hope it'll be all right. I hope he likes it. Hang on, I'll show you something else. All right, guys, we're fixing to uh, get into putting this thing back together. This is the intake plugs, and I uh, got the bypass hose and everything. So uh, I'm going to work on this uh, for a little while and uh, take a little break from the body work. But I uh, will make another video on doing some more body work and painting this thing hopefully in the next few days. I did get the paint and everything, so that's a good thing. All right, see you on the few. Hey guys, I got this thing all tore back down. But uh, I'm fixing to put the gaskets and stuff on this pump. Uh, I don't know what I did with my permatech. But I just want just enough on it just enough on it to uh, get the gasket to stick because the surface is good and clean and stuff and uh, just enough to see it up just a little teeny bit and if you get a lot of excess on it when it dries up just take a razor blade and trim it off and uh, also I got the plugs in the intake and stuff with your Teflon wrapped around it. depending on your threads whether they're reversed or not you want to uh, actually wrap that stuff the opposite way that you're going to be turning it in so that it don't un unravel itself when you tighten it up. But all right guys, be right back with you. Hey everybody, I got all this put back together on the front end of this one. Um, yeah, I got the pulley on there. And uh, got it all tightened up, everything's good and snow. Torque down like it should be. But, uh, yeah, that big pulley is a must for these big block Chevrolets if you're going to be turning some high RPMs. If not, you're going to be picking up belts, pieces of the belt probably. But, uh, yeah. The only thing left is I got to wire up the electric fan with the relay switches and stuff. And, uh, I got one more plug back here. I'm going to put the, uh, uh, temperature sending that unit at the back of the uh, engine because the back of the engine gets the hottest by the uh, number seven and eight cylinders is always the ones that gets the hottest because of the uh, water and everything so close to the front but uh that's what these bypass hoses are for if you uh, eliminate that you have to drill a hole in the uh, thermostat or either get one with a little provision hole in it or whatever they call it from Moroso, but uh, yeah, I'll get the uh, temperature gauge in it and the fans wired up, and he'll be uh, ready to run a good little bit. So, hopefully, uh, the gauges will be here in a day or so. But uh, for anybody that might want that pulley, that's a uh, competition engineering Moroso. It is 64800. The uh, first three digits will be MOR. MOR 64800. That's a five inch pulley, single groove. But uh, yeah. Uh, appreciate everybody watching. And uh, I'm gonna uh, probably uh, do a little body work and uh, go from there and uh, please like share subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one thanks guys later